Welcome back. Let's find out if we've gotten anything wrong so far. For that, we go to TV's Andy Levy. Hey, Andy. Hey, Greg. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great. Thanks. Good. Working for the weekend? Uh, kind of, yeah, yeah. But I'll be working all weekend. All so right. what's the point? I don't know. Neither do I. <laughs> uh, Facebook IPO. Oh, Greg, you said you believe Google went public in 1987? Yes. That was 2004. You know what? No wonder I didn't make any money. Who did I give that yeah. money to? <laughs> I don't know. That was Steve uh, Google. That was his name. Yeah. He was yeah. a, he, actually, and, and he was you, a, did, you did get services for that. Yeah. So. He was a boarder in my mom's house. Yeah. <laughs> Kept to himself. He would actually perform searches on you. Yes. I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. Uh, Michael, you said the whole don't flaunt it ethic in Silicon Valley seems yeah. kind of stupid. And Juliet, you actually seemed outraged by it. Uh, I completely disagree. I think doesn't it kind of go back to like a, that old timey ethic where the rich never acted like they were rich and you had money but you didn't talk about money? I, I kind of think that was better. When did that ever happen? Yeah, have you read back, uh, back uh, in the old days? Free conspicuous consumption. Well, it's just like yeah, but people landed gentry, lived in their castles, and they didn't let people. But they see didn't. It. They didn't talk about their castles, Michael. What is? The, wh where are you getting they this they information? Didn't go down, they, didn't go down to the, they didn't go down to the drugstore and start talking about, hey, I, I got a castle. <laughs> they, they just, they just drugs didn't. Brought to them. Uh, this they is from a guy didn't. that watches Game of Thrones. That's all they do is throw their castles at people. Yes. No. No. And women. This no. is a make-believe time, Andy. No, I, I don't believe it is. I don't believe it is. And then again, if I had a billion dollars, I would have a compound in Idaho. You would never hear from me again, except maybe the occasional tweet. But other than that, yeah. <laughs> uh, every now and then you'd hear this wild <laughs> roar in unison <laughs> of cats. It'd just be cats. It's, it'd be like a cat no, army no, in 20 just, years. There would be the occasional Hugh Hefner-like tweet. But other than that, nothing. <laughs> Radio silence. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Uh, it would be a grotto, but it would be filled with cat hair. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, David Ask Jeeves is now simply Ask.com. Oh, oh, that's right. <laughs> yep. Good to know. Yep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> did you, what did, how'd you really. look that up? <laughs> I binged it. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Bill, Greg asked you how quickly you'd be dead if you had Facebook money, and you said you wouldn't be. Uh, you would. I looked it up. <laughs> 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 Michael, I don't think yeah. that when Zuckerberg says, quote, we don't build services to make money, we make money to build better services, yeah. I don't think he's being completely disingenuous. I mean, obviously, he likes having money, but he's got a pretty record of putting a lot of that money back into Facebook and also st continuing to work his ass off. Yeah, why are you carrying so much water? I don't for know. Mark Zuckerberg? I hate, and especially since I hate Facebook and yeah, yeah. have nothing to do with it whatsoever. But yeah, no, but it's not disingenuous now that he has a billion dollars. He doesn't have to make money. The no. way it was presented in the piece was like he's uh, so altruistic. It's like I don't care about money. And you guys, by the way, don't flaunt your money. But to make the point that he reinvests it, yeah, that's true because yeah. he wants to build the company. So it loses money? No, because so it makes more money. No, but I don't think I don't even think he's being altruistic. I, and I agree with you that he's not, I mean, he's a businessman. He's, by definition, probably not yeah. altruistic. But I, I'm not sure that's what he meant. I, I think that was more along the lines of just the, there was a whole don't flaunt it thing. I don't know. I don't really yeah, care. Yeah, you know, I'm a, a fan of the old school, uh, you know, where you, uh, like uh, Larry Flint, you got a gold wheelchair. You know, and here's the thing. I don't know if, he, I don't know if Mark Zuckerberg's in a wheelchair because I've never seen him. But. Here's the thing. Can right. I just make a, a distinction Please. between Please. people like Moynihan and me <laughs> and you and Zuckerberg? <laughs> About three years ago, I had an idea to write a movie called Facebook, mm -hmm. and I spent two days <laughs> writing the script, and it was about a guy who collected faces from people and right. put it in a book. Yeah. The whole goal was to release the movie like two weeks before the social network, so yeah. people would think it was the Facebook movie, <laughs> yeah. and it wasn't. I stopped after 10 pages. Yeah. That's the difference between us yeah. and Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah. Yeah. He actually went through with it, yeah. started a company. Yeah. I couldn't even yeah, write the script. You don't care about money. <laughs> no. no, I agree. <laughs> it's a good point. Uh, it's an failures. excellent point. It's an, ex an excellent point. Yeah. Uh, by the way, Zuckerberg's Harvard classmate, Dustin Moskovitz, who left Facebook in 2008, is worth uh, $5.2 billion after Friday's IPO. And he's eight days younger than Zuckerberg, so he's officially America's youngest billionaire. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But why do we hate, we, why do we should love them. Yeah, him, he's like Rod okay. Carew. We love him if we marry him. He's but a Jewish otherwise. Uh, second baseman. <laughs> yes. Great athlete. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, I mean, people believe that they cut in line. Did they cut in line? I don't think so. By the way, it's also very easy not to flaunt it when you always had it. Right. I mean, all these yeah. kids went oh, to, yeah, yeah. I mean, Larry Flint grew up 
in like a. What's with Larry Flint? I love him. <laughs> and right. he has a gold wheelchair. Ah, he's terrible. Do you see the points? He's an awful but human again, being. But Michael, <laughs> Michael, that also, in all seriousness, gets back to my point where you had you had the, the people who came for money never sh like showed off their money, but then the nouveau riche would show it off, which, which the 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 old the old time rich people thought was you know not classy. So you are defending like the 17th century British class system and <laughs> don't want people to have. Yeah, that's fine. I, 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 yes. Or else we wouldn't have Downton Abbey. Yeah. <laughs> uh, MTV holding cast and call for a new show about losing virginity. Juliet, you were waiting for Greg to make some kind of quote sick joke about your marriages here, uh, and yet he didn't. I, I think somebody owes somebody an apology. Mm -hmm. I'll wait. Uh, yeah. I, no, no, I'm sure there's still, what, half an hour left in the show? Give it time. We'll see you at the end of the show if, if you deserve it. the average length of one of your worst, marriages. Worth the time. <laughs> 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 it's actually true. It's much longer, actually. Slow clap. <laughs> Very funny. So basically, you did a Thank preemptive you. strike. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. There you go, and Andy. A lot, and a lot funny. more laughter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just That's joshing. That's so true. Uh, it's good that you can make fun of that stuff. That's right, you know. You mean it's good that you can make fun of that stuff? <laughs> <laughs> we all have our I can laugh about it now. I can laugh about it now. No. Yes. I would never make that choice again. Yeah. A bad decision. <laughs> <laughs> Fool me three times. Shame on. <laughs> uh, Fourth time the charm. Yeah. Greg, you said you don't no think MTV has added that. anything of uh, value. I what? Uh, you don't think MTV has added anything of value to society? Yes, I know you're going to nail me for the well, the Faith No More videos. Seeing those was neat. Well, I was just going to I was just going to say Kurt Loader. Oh yes. Loader. yes. Kurt Loader is great. Uh, yep. Comrade Kurt. Yep. I stand corrected. Michael, you said Eric Nice was a minister in the Canadian government yes. in the mid-90s, and yes. you said look it up. So, yeah, so I, I, I was, I, I that did. was actually a request because I wasn't sure. Yeah, no, I did. He was not. <laughs> he was, not. Yeah. was it a different country, Andy? Uh, uh, no, he was, he was never a minister of any country. Okay. Yeah. I was I was misinformed because yes. I when I, I heard that when I was at his club. Oh no no it happened it happened <laughs> club yeah. MTV I believe it was Canadian called. club yeah Canadian yes. club. Yeah. <laughs> uh, researchers want a fat tax. Juliet, I completely agree with everything you said on this topic. Good for you. Well, I don't remember what I said. Uh, just that <laughs> that the government shouldn't tell us what to do in our private lives. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I thought that was Simple, great. Sweet. Uh, Including no seatbelts. Oh. Uh, not the government's business. All right. Um, I don't mind the smoking thing though. I'm just gonna say. Uh, well, oh, I, see. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like to smell like smoke. That's not a bad thing. I well, I don't smell. Like, I don't like smelling like uh, car oil. Don't get into an accident. Because I'm not wearing my seatbelt. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, you, yeah. I don't want the government involved in anything way, unless a, it bothers me. That is the perfect example of why libertarianism will never take over the world. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. that's a perfect example yeah. of being a woman. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Bill, if you start the first day came for a quote with first day came for me, it kind of misses the point. <laughs> Every time I hear 20 seconds, it befuddles me. A, yeah. I don't know how to count to 20, yeah. Yeah. and B, I know I'm on the clock. Right. So it really was the worst Martin <laughs> yeah. revolution ever. But I think I made my point with the help of Michael. Uh, I don't think you did. A uh, uh, couple may get jail time for having sex in the back of a Dubai taxi. First of all, shout out to British newspaper The Sun. They're now referring to Rebe Rebecca Blake as Busty, uh, wait, Busty Becky Blake. Mm. Alliteration. That is outstanding. Can't go wrong. Yeah. Uh, we should note that Busty Becky says that not only wasn't she having sex in the taxi, she says she hasn't even been charged with having sex in the taxi. She says, quote, it's all total BS. I have no idea where these sex allegations came from. I was arrested for having a bottle of beer in the back of a cab. That's all. All right. Well, so, we, uh, but you said it, so there. But, but sources say that she was arrested for sex. So. It's a new MTV show. I find, <laughs> it, it I find when well, I start it, drinking at 9 a.m., yeah. I'm very good with the memory. <laughs> and, that's a good call. and also, a, friend of, hers, you can drink a friend of hers from England says, quote, at one party at her house, she was a bit drunk and was showing off her tattoos of Chinese writing all down her back. <laughs> so we're pretty sure she had sex in the back of the camera. Yeah. <laughs> she's, that's a, evidence. she's a hero. Yeah. Uh, just lastly, it is generally not legal to have sex in public in America. There you go. Yeah. So? Yep. But is the cab considered public, the, ha the back of the cab? I mean, I'm I not, would, it's, it's, not an enclosure. it's not your car, so I would assume it's considered public. Public cab. Or it's a private, you know, it's someone private else's cab. private property. What, so if, it's it's a, a, what if it's like a car that you put like a primitive kind of mattress in the back, you <laughs> took out the seats? <laughs> I think what you do in those cars is, is not legal anywhere on the planet, except <laughs> possibly 
uh, some of the urban centers in, in Thailand. Oh, right. the, worst part is he the worst part is he does them in bumper cars. No, <laughs> terrible, uh, Bill. His families. Oh, you're awful. <laughs> All right. I have no idea what he's talking about. Are you done? Sure. All right, coming up, a story so unbelievable that if it were an owl, you would say that's not really an owl, and then you would rip its head off with your teeth <laughs> and find out, yes, to your horror, that it was an owl. But first, how's Jenny McCarthy celebrating her 40th the same way I did, posing nude in Playboy? Playboy's a bar on 11th Street, right?